Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gary Root, just another fan TV. Back at you on a video, like the content of the video. Go ahead and hit that like button, like the content channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Ravens content coming at you on a daily basis. And today, we're going to talk about the Ravens injury report, man. First off, well, everybody's having a wonderful day. You know what I mean? Nice day outside. So, new little background. Not really new, but you know, something more better than just the wall, right? Um, so, listen, the Ravens dropped the injury report. Just want to go over real quick, get your thoughts on it. Who was limited? Who didn't practice? Who, did, you know what I mean? Things like that, right? All right, so we'll start off top. Uh, did not practice. So you got Calais Campbell, you got Justin Houston, you got Pat Ricard. Now, Justin Houston, Calais Campbell, I wouldn't worry about those guys. Veteran days, you know how it is. Um, these guys have been in the league 12, 15 years. They good. They don't need, they don't need to practice all every week, you know what I mean? All, all week, at least that. You know, so where Pat Ricard is a little bit more interesting. Okay, now Pat Ricard, uh, I think Josh Rebeck said he noticed him limping at the end of the game on Sunday. And it is reported that he's carrying a calf injury right now. Now, listen, we might not be the biggest fans of Pat Ricard's um, massive role in the offense, but the Ravens like him. Greg Roman especially likes him. So if Pat Ricard is ready to go, he's going to play. But it's something to keep an eye out on just because of how much he plays, right? I think the Ravens had something like 50 yard snaps on Sunday. Um, just to show you how much Pat Ricard was on the field, uh, I believe that Rashad Bateman had like 37 snaps. Patrick Ricard was right behind him and had 36, okay? So he almost had as many snaps as the wide receiver one on this team. So if Pat Ricard is healthy and can go, he's going to play. So that's what I'm just kind of waiting and seeing on, um, and whether or not what his health status is. Because um, with him being hurt, with Nick Boyle missing Sunday's game, he might be potentially be hampered. Um, we're going to see if they change the offense in a little bit or what's going to happen um, if both of these guys can't go because, you know, these are two of Greg Roman's favorite guys. We got to be honest with that. We know that, right? Um, so with that being said, um, it's only Wednesday. So let's not get all too high or too low about it. Um, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with Pat Ricard, you know, so he could very well play on Sunday. And I hope he does play. You know, he's, he's an integral part to this team. Nothing against him at all. Um, so with it only being Wednesday, we're just going to leave it at he's limited. We don't know anything else. We'll see if he practices tomorrow. I'm going to go from there. You know, simple as that. Now, guys that were limited today. All right. Now, you see the title of the video. Uh, Travis Jones is back. Uh, this is one of the Ravens rookies that I'm really, really excited about. Uh, pretty much since he stepped on uh, rookie minicamp, he's been dynamic, making plays, right? Uh, unfortunately, he did get injured in that Cardinals game. I believe it was the second preseason game. Uh, in late in the fourth quarter. And, you know, uh, I think it was a hyper extension of the knee. Ravens were lucky that he was lucky. That was nothing more serious than that. Uh, Harbaugh gave a timeline, you know, back then of about four weeks. And going into week one was about four weeks. So now we're into week two, a little bit longer, but he was limited today. I'm assuming that they're just going to bring him back a little bit slowly. But I would expect to see Travis Jones this Sunday versus the Miami Dolphins. And that's super exciting news, bro. I mean, we're talking about a guy who has the ability to rush the guard, rush the center, and just be an all-out dominant force, take on two blocks. And if he's a guy that opposing defense had to double team, that's going to be a major issue. You got Matt Abike causing trouble. You got uh, Broderick Washington, Michael Pierce, Calais Campbell. These are just the guys in the middle. Uh, Ravens just signed Steven Means to the official uh, 53-man roster because, you know, they had two spots open up due to injury. And so he's on the edge. Justin Houston on the edge. Odafi always on the edge. All guys who had good games versus the Jets. And just putting it out there, too, I saw something that said that the Dolphins' offensive line is going through a little bit of injuries, all right? Uh, their left tackle, their right tackle are both uh, at least questionable right now going into Sunday's game. Like I said, it's the middle of the week, so we don't know anything. But if they go down without their two starting tackles, the Ravens can have another game versus a decimated O-line. And they could really get off again. And having Travis Jones, another body in that middle of that defense, is only going to help. So I'm happy to see him back. Now, there were four other guys listed on that limited report. Ronnie Stanley, James Prochet, Marcus Peters, Brandon Stevens. Okay. Now, the name that sticks out to me is James Prochet, but we, I'm going to get to him in a second. Okay. Uh, Marcus Peters was working out Sunday before the game. Um, it looked like he might play, but it looked like the Ravens decided to hold him out. So we'll see. He could be another week away. I don't know. We don't want to rush him back. We just had an injury to the corner, so we don't want to go down another corner. Uh, Brandon Stevens, I'm hoping that it's just precautionary because I like what I saw from Brandon Stevens. And he gets kind of unfairly judged by a lot of Ravens fans. Uh, but I thought he played pretty well on Sunday. 
You know what I'm saying? Had a good had a couple of good pass breakups. The final touchdown, he should have broken up, you know, but it's okay. He missed the ball. It happens. Uh so I'm hoping that it's just that's just what it is for him, just just precautionary. Uh Ronnie Stanley, you know, with the ankle injury, he was out there practicing limited, limited, excuse me. Um We'll see if he plays. I, I kind of thought week two would be the week that, you know, he gets to that full participant status. It hasn't happened yet. So we'll see if Ravens could just be bringing him along slowly. I'm not going to make any sweeping judgments about it. But I will say this. Until we get to Sunday and it's, you know, say it was a 1 o'clock game. Say it's 12, 12, 15, 12, 30. Whenever the inactives drop, that's when I know Ronnie Stanley is playing or not. If he's on that list, obviously he's not playing. If he's not, then I know it's real. Uh, because... He's just, the Ravens are bringing him along slowly. You know, they're bringing him on at his own pace. So we don't know anything until he's officially suited up, ready to play. And um, until that happens, I'm just going to say, don't expect a lot of money, Stanley. Expect some more Patrick, Patrick McCarry, who held it down pretty well, had his little lumps and bruises here and there, but for the most part, was pretty solid versus the Jets. So I expect more of that from Patrick McCarry, okay? Uh, now, listen, James Prochet, like I said, this is the guy I wanted to talk about. Now, James Prochet... Played five snaps versus the Jets. Now, you know, I'm not trying to talk too much about a guy who might be wide receiver four on the team. But it's just the fact that he had a really good training camp. He like he was headed towards having a decent preseason, but then he gets his hamstring injury. Okay? He misses like two, two and a half weeks. Devin Duvernay ascends. The Ravens signed to Marcus Robinson. So he kind of falls on the pecking order a little bit. Then we get to Sunday, he only plays five snaps. And I'm like, damn, what's up with that? Right? And then to come out today and figure out he's limited in practice because of a groin injury. Now, is it now are his limited snacks because of the injury, or is it because of you know just guys leapfrogging him in order? I don't know. Uh, we'll see how much he plays on Sunday if he plays at all. I still expect that he would. Um, so I, that's one thing I'm looking forward to uh, is seeing you know James Prochet. I think he had a he was on his way to having a good training camp and just got hammered by injuries. So I'm interested to see how it is now. Now, the second guy in this title is one, um, J.K. Dobbins. He was listed as a full participant for the first time, uh, obviously, before his knee injury. So, J.K. Dobbins looks like he's on track to play on Sunday, and that's great, great, great news for the Ravens running backs, uh, their, that backfield. Now, we know that backfield had about, like, three yards to carry, what, 60, 50, 60 yards rushing in total, and it just wasn't a good day. They needed some pop. They needed some explosiveness, and J.K.'s that guy to break it back. Um, I saw a video of him talking about his injury. I mean, he said he tore his ACL, LCL, hamstring, and meniscus, I think, right? So he came back from a, a, a gnarly injury, man. Really, really nasty injury. To be at this point now, I'm excited for him. I'm excited for this Ravens backfield. Uh, they Lamar Jackson had a little press conference today. They asked him about J.K. Dobbins. He said J.K. looked good out there, right? And that's what he's been saying. So, And then Justin Rebeck, the reporter, also said J.K. Dobbins looked pretty good out there. So I think he's going to play this Sunday. Um and I'm, I'm really excited for that. Now, how much he's going to play, we don't know. Obviously, we don't know that. Um, I wouldn't expect him just to be full on, hey, look, 80% of the snaps, you out there, J.K. I think they're going to ease him in. You got Ken Drake. You got uh, Mike Davis. You got Justice Hill. You got guys here where you don't need to uh, rush J.K. Dobbins back on the field. Um, so the Ravens have been cautious. I believe they will continue to be cautious. Uh, so we'll just see where it goes from there. But main point being, uh, J.K. Dobbins back is really, really good for this one game. It's important for him to be back. Uh, I mentioned it in previous videos that the Ravens are going to have to rely on talented, explosive running backs for this running game to pop. It's not going to be on Lamar Jackson. It's going to be on these running backs. So J.K. Dobbins is a guy that can really pop and get the big play going. So uh, I'm glad to see he was a full participant just because of his role back here and everything like that, man. So that's pretty much the Ravens injury report for today. Uh, Travis Jones back, J.K. Dobbins, full participant. Look like they're both on track to playing on Sunday. Keep an eye out for Pat Ricard. We know what he means to this offense, to Greg Roman. So we'll see if he plays. All right, that's that's just some things to keep an eye on. But that's your Ravens injury report today, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan of TV. I'm out.